if you're just going to rely on your own strength, if you're just going to rely on your own emotions, if you're just going to rely on your expertise in ministries, if you're just going to rely on your own, you're going to give up. But Paul says, because of the gospel, it, it is the power of God. It saves and calls you. And the gospel is God's sovereign purpose and grace for you, my son. Hi, I'm Jane Urbistondo. I'm from Metropolitan Christian Fellowship and Family Ministry from Cebu. About the word last night, I have learned that everything we do should revolve around the gospel and that our thanksgiving, our charge, our motivation, just like how God worked in the life of Paul, should always, always, always be centralized in the gospel. And for this to happen, we must be saturated and cultivate genuine relationship with our um, fellow believers. If you want to understand the purpose of your work, the purpose of our work is to reach the lost. But here's the thing, you do not have the power to convert people. You do not have the power to save them. You do not have the power to change them. Who has the power? Christ! I was awakened kagabi, from the message of Pastor Franco on how the need of uh, the church to know kung ano pa yung uh, pinagdadaanan ng bawat isa personally like what Tim Timothy experienced at kung paanong si Paul ay uh, patuloy na naging kapatid sa kanya like what he said na it is important na hindi nag sa atin yung gospel we should share the gospel because it was entrusted sa atin by the Lord and it is our duty to keep the fire burning in us kasi tayo ang magsisilbing liwanag para sa iba People don't like to hear sin. People don't like to hear about the wrath of God. Well, that's exactly the point. We don't preach what people like to hear. We preach what God has to say to people, regardless if they would like it or not. This is true. We are saved by grace alone, through faith alone, in Christ alone, for the glory of God alone in accordance to the scriptures. This gift of faith does not remain alone. We are called to live righteous lives before God. God has called you and me. For, honorable, for an honorable cause of heralding the good news and preaching the whole counsel of God. Friends, we cannot do that effectively if there lingers in us even as much of unholiness. But all the more when you see God's faithfulness to you, for He cannot deny Himself, what does that move? What does that move in your heart? And now it creates a desire in you. It steers affections for Christ. That because you, God, you are faithful to me. I just want to faith in you. I just want to remain. I just want to abide in you.